Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Welcome to the Headmaster's Diary of fascinating and enjoyable stories and lessons. The teenage years are a challenge to any child. With imbalances in hormones and frequent changes in perception, teenagers often find it difficult to find their way in this world. They result in rebellious tendencies towards their parents, and this severely strains communication between the parents and the children. This may lead to problems later. A child once perceived with innocence may be exposed to a new and harmful environment. This challenge comes with its own set of stresses for the parent. For if it is handled poorly, the consequences may cause harm to the child and the family altogether. The most critical factor in all of this is how the parents choose to react. Some parents assume these problems don't impact their own children, while others have a more proactive approach. Although no two families have the same situation, establishing a general set of guidelines may be a good start. Having to deal with many teenagers from different backgrounds, I found the following information to be the greatest asset in understanding and communicating with them. If we develop in them a love for Islam and provide them with righteous examples as role models, they will be less likely to go astray. If they admire the Prophet وسلم, Abu Bakr Siddiq, Ali Ta'ala and other companions, they will try to follow their example. The same holds true if they glorify musicians, gang leaders. If we inspire our children with good examples, when they are tempted to do wrong, they will, inshallah, remember these examples and they will remain steadfast. During the teenage years, children often value the opinion of their friends rather than that of parents or elders. According to a hadith, man is upon the path of his intimate friend. So let each look to whom he takes as a friend. If our children have good, sincere and righteous friends, the chances are good that our children will be like them. If on the other hand, our children hang around with others who get into trouble all the time, then our children will likely do the same. Therefore, it is essential from an early age that we expose our children to good environments. And one way to encourage us is by regularly talking to them about their friends. This requires care though, so it doesn't seem like you're prying into their life and into their privacy. If they interact with non-Muslims, you should not worry too much provided that the people they are interacting with are not a negative influence. Perhaps our child with good character will influence them towards Islam, subhanAllah. We should be worried though, if our children start hanging around with ill-mannered and disrespectful children. Bored teenagers, like any person who is bored, are more likely to get into trouble looking for fun and excitement in the wrong places. Famous saying of idle hands are the devil's workshop. Someone once said, if teenagers' lives are full of good and exciting things to do, they will not have time or the desire to get involved in bad things. Fill their time with goodness. If teenagers feel that they are guided independently, they will likely take on the role of adults. They want to be known as adults, which is key for growth and development. Listening to and understanding is also a key which will allow the children to confide in their parents as opposed to other potentially negative sources. Finally, remember that children are observant. Practicing what you preach is very, very important and as an adult. As a child, not only obeys, but they imitate as well. The teenage years are usually difficult and parents need to prepare for them before they arrive. If we as parents build a strong and trusting relationship, a loving relationship with our children, before they reach these troublesome teenagers, teenage years, they will be less likely to go astray. It is very difficult to see one's child going in the wrong direction. Sometimes it's very difficult to get them back. We don't know how to stop them from harming themselves. But if we work hard to instill in them right values early on and try to help them develop a wholesome lifestyle without being overbearing, don't intrude in their lives, perhaps we can prevent such a tragedy from ever occurring in our lives. Parenting is not easy. May Allah change our lives for the better. 
And may he continue to bless you and your family. And grant us the Muslim Ummah Jannatul Firdaus. Ameen Ya Rabbi. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.